We're also tonight meeting a Georgia 16 year old who saw an opportunity in the need for personal protective equipment. 16 year old Wesley Ross has sold more than 52,000 masks so far. He joins us live tonight. Wesley, it's great to have you on the show. Hey, thank you for having me on. Yeah, I don't know what I was doing at 16, but it wasn't certainly what you're doing. I'm so impressed with your story. How did this all happen? Uh, so I kind of got into selling the face mask after I saw a, a big need for them after the whole start of lockdown and things like that, where businesses were looking to reopen. But there was a kind of deficit for PPE that's available to the public. Um, so I found a manufacturer in China who I worked with previously on a few other business deals where, they, you know, they had a stock that was still left over due to things kind of slowing down in Wuhan, and they wanted to supply them to me. Uh, and, and in turn, you know, I'd make a, a profit off of it and kind of help them get rid of their stock. So we moved into that business together, and since then I kind of just rolled them one by one. I mean, it's stunning, too, the, the, the price that you negotiated with this company. Tell us about that, how much you were paying for each mask at a time where we were hearing about prices going up by huge amounts that states were having trouble finding them. And if they did, they had to pay so much more than normal. Yeah, so I absolutely hated the price that, I mean, so many people were paying for them. I mean, you heard about people paying seven, eight, ten times the regular price. And, you know, it was, it was a lot to do with price gouging. I mean, for my supplier, I was just getting them for 41 cents a piece, which was pretty normal for, you know, the time. And I, I wasn't charging way over the price um, in comparison to a lot of suppliers and manufacturers. And I feel like that's what kind of built that trust between me and a lot of people was, you know, I'm not really here to kind of drag the money and drain the money out of citizens and people like some companies. You, you mentioned you already had a relationship with this manufacturer in, in China. Maybe it's fair to say you're a serial entrepreneur because you have what I read, 10 businesses and your mom said you had your first business at the age of seven. How in the world is that possible? <laughs> yes. And what was it at age seven that you did? Yes. Yeah, so at the age of seven years old, I, I started selling handmade soap and bracelets uh, to teachers and students at my um, elementary school. Um, and I mean, I, it, was, it was really fun. Since then, I've kind of moved into more serious things, uh, such as auto parts, um, the whole North Star dynamics, and I'm working on an electric motorcycle startup now. Did anybody help you with this current business in, in obtaining the, the, uh, the, the PPE, or did you do all of that yourself? Yeah, so I do all of this uh, myself from my home office, or not really home office, it's more just my desk in my room, but they don't need to know about that. Um, but it's, it's a lot of me just kind of sitting in my room, sending emails, talking on the phone, and just rolling it off. Wow. Where's Wesley Ross going to be 10 years from now? What do you want to do? So 10 years from now, I, I see myself at the, uh, at the top. You know, I, want, I know exactly what I want to do with my life. I know exactly where I want to go. And, you know, I'll do anything to get myself there. And I, I've taken this, the kind of early steps of getting myself to that point where, you know, I can work and kind of manage everything in my life because I know exactly the goals and dreams I want to achieve at my age. And I mean, I will I will work, work, work and work to, in order to get myself there.